Paul really, for me, is the uh, kind of completion of an unofficial trilogy um, that started a couple, several years back when our production of Sin that Cardinal deposed, uh, which looked uh, it was a very frank documentary look at the uh, rape uh, crisis scandal um, tragedy uh, in the Catholic Church. Uh, and then uh, a couple years ago, two seasons ago, we did a play called Grace, which was uh, a, a play that came out of Britain as well, like Paul, um, which looks, which looked, took a very frank look at faith and uh, its relationship to science and, uh, and its relationship to, uh, you know, our, our fear of death. Paul was an opportunity for us to look at where does that come from? Where does the um, uh, where did this all start, uh, especially in its Christian form? And so we go back in time 2,000 years and look at the uh, origins. This tries to get underneath the myth a bit and look at it as if, um, you know, uh, how could this have happened? And uh, assuming, um, as uh, I think many of us do today, that there is no supernatural, that there's no, to take all the superstitious qualities out of it, the divine qualities, and say, well, what if it happened? How could this be? And what is our relationship to storytelling? It's really a story about how stories are made and the power that stories, that art, can have over our lives. I first heard about uh, Paul uh, when it was in the run-up to his production at the National in London. And um, I... Uh, uh, wasn't able to see it, but my brother was taking a trip over to London, and uh, so I, and he was going to be there at the time the play was up, and I said, make sure you get to see Paul at the National, and you bring me back the program and the script, etc., 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 and he did all of those things. He also brought back a glowing review and said that that would be a great play for you guys to be doing in your theater. We then started to pursue the rights for it, um, but because uh, no one else had done it in America, we're a very small theater, it took a little while. Uh, I think there, were, they were, there was a hope of a New York production and some other things, and that when those didn't materialize, they finally said yes, and so we get to do the premiere. premiere. Oh, it's great. It's a great privilege. It's a, a real, it's a, it's, there's some pressure, I think. There's some real responsibility here because um, no one's seen the play before uh, in the country. Um, but it's a thrill. It's a story that um, people, there are very few facts, um, historical facts, if any, to really back it up. Uh, it's a story created by storytelling. Um, and so the story that we know and that we take as if it actually happened is uh, an amalgam of several sources, of um, a lot of smoothing out the wrinkles over the years, a lot of interpretations of interpretations. And this is another one. This is a reinvention of it. And we're just hoping that this one uh, will help people look at it afresh uh, and not take it for granted um, and start to question maybe where some of their assumptions come from. Any time that you can um, uh, shake it up a bit, you know, pick it up by the scruff of the neck, shake it and throw it down and, then, uh, and, and have people kind of go, hey, wait a minute, I've never thought about it like that before. What if? At your right hand, life forever. Amen. Amen.